Yes, awesome. Welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. Have a look at the little big malaka. Well, it's not the little one, it's the big one. They're coming along mighty fine there, folks, and we've released these ones available online. So today's topic, tomatoes. Here's one that I planted a few weeks ago with the uh, gardening workshop we held here, folks. A tomato, and admittedly, it was way too early back then to be planting it. And along with a capsicum or chili plant, I've got the label somewhere, they're not here. But either way, I thought I'll trial them out and see what happens. Now, tomatoes, well, we are right at the beginning of the season for planting, and I'm sure many of you got a great microclimate in your garden, whether it's front yard or backyard, or even the nature strip, where you can plant away, you know, to your heart's content. For this time of year, even my garden, it's ready for planting, close to. And the old general rule is, you know, it's 10 degree uh, soil temperature at night for 10 days in a row. And if that's what you've got and higher, then you can plant away. My soil's sitting about 11 to 12 degrees at the moment. I haven't got the thermometer here to test it, but have a look at this one here. Now this one went in way earlier. And we had a real cold um, spell when it was getting planted. I did have the guard, the plant guard. We haven't got these in stock at the moment, so don't hassle us for them. They'll be coming out soon. And I had this around it protecting it, and I've taken them off since because the weather has warmed up. So we're letting it harden off, and they need to harden off, especially when you're buying seedlings from your local garden center or wherever. Even if you're growing your own in a hothouse, you need to take them out each day for a little bit, take them back in again at night so they can harden off uh, with the natural environment surrounding them. Now, planting a tomato, you've got a couple of options here. You can plant them in a pot, you can plant them in a raised bed, you can plant them in the ground if you like. Now, planting-wise, you can plant them in various ways as well. It's not just planting it straight in as you get it from a punnet, for example, as I've got this little one here, which needs to grow another four inches, 100 mil or so, before it goes in the ground. Most times what people do, and I've seen this happen all the time, well, most times, is they take it out of the punnet and where the soil level is in the punnet is where they bury it to the ground level. So they basically don't go any deeper than that. And that basically works. There's nothing wrong with that, absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. As long as you've got a strong root system underneath it, it'll take off. But what you also have the opportunity of doing is establishing a bigger and stronger and more resilient root system. And the way you can do that is a couple. One is by simply going deeper into the ground. So, for example, if this was its natural soil level when it was in the punnet, and I was going to bring this along and plant it in the ground, because you can find advanced maxi pot tomatoes, which will be about this tall, maybe a little bit shorter, but definitely tall enough. You can plant it up to the first set of main leaves, like that there. Now, what you need to do beforehand is remove the leaves. And I'll do that now, and we'll talk about the leaves in a second but just let me get these out of the way and see how I'm doing it. Click up, crack, and then down. So we're doing an undercut. It's similar to pruning a fruit tree or any tree, in fact. You always do an undercut first, which is right underneath where you want to remove it. So you crack that. Otherwise, if you crack the top and you go to crack the top first, you've got the, the potential of tearing away the skin. And when you do that, you're creating disease opportunities to enter the plant. Now, these leaves have been discoloured and obviously weathered because of the cold weather, and we'll talk about that in a second, but planting, again, down to there, remove the leaves. Now, what does that do for you? It actually gives your plant a better opportunity to grow more roots, so wherever the, the stem of the plant touches the soil or is buried into the soil, it will actually inhibit new growth of roots, and you'll find, and I'm sure you've seen it plenty of times on more advanced plants, even in your garden or maybe at the garden centers down below where the stem is close to the soil you start to notice little, these little white bumps well they're exuding new roots that's where the beginning of the new roots are and they will turn into a proper full-blown root system if they actually get to connect to soil so plant them deeper if you like or another option is to actually layer it down so I'm not going to push this all the way down because it's already established and it's hardened off look how nice and woody that is I can feel that it's quite firm when you go to your local garden center you'll find most of the stems because they've got grown in controlled environments are soft and succulent so they're very susceptible to dramatic climate changes unless well your garden center's had them for a couple of weeks and hardened them off for you generally when you walk into a garden center and I've seen it done Mate, when I had the garden centre in Coburg, they knew the delivery date was Thursday. Per Tools, an amazing grower, a seedling growing, and I take my hat off to them because they are able to meet the supply of demand. 
They would deliver on a Thursday and their times on Mondays and Tuesdays and the, and the real sort of passionate, you know, European gardeners who wanted, you know, 50 tomatoes or basils or whatever seedling they wanted, they'd be waiting at the door there for the seedlings to turn up. Now those seedlings were somewhat soft. They need to be hardened off. So when they come straight off the truck, that's my point, whether it's Pertils or anybody else, they may need to be hardened off. So if you're gonna buy them when they first just landed, consider placing them somewhere where it's nice and protected. If they've already been hardened off and you can tell by the purple stem at the bottom or the woodiness of the stem, well, you can go straight out to your heart's content and plant them into the ground. This has hardened off. So my other point here was layering. So what I mean by layering is when you get your punnet or maxi pot, you say this is an entire root system, this isn't established. As you can see, it's quite small still, so I'm not going to take it out. But if I was to take this out and have it, let's say the stem was as long as this, like that, you would basically dig a hole in the ground, a little trench, and bury the, the root system on this angle. So deep with the root system, below the soil surface, obviously. And then on this side, as the stem is also covered to the end, you'll cover it up to a certain point. We've got fruit here, but let's say when you bought them first, there were no fruit, you'd cover it up to there, and then the last part, so this is all soil, this last part will be sitting out above ground. So you'll turn that upright, and then you put a little garden stake to hold it in that position. So imagine that all buried. So this entire root system, or sorry, stem, will become a root system by covering it. And the part that's sticking out, well, they'll grow on to become your big, full, fully pledged tomato plant, whatever variety you like. So that is a great way to enhance the root ball. And you know what happens when you get a bigger root system and you've got nice organic soil like I have here with our planting mix? Well, they connect with the microbes and the fungi and all that, the bacteria, and they start to populate and bring beautiful nutrients up to the plant, as does the plant for the microbes. So grow bigger, healthier roots is the key here. This was planted about three or maybe three weeks ago, I think it is. I won't say four, approximately three weeks ago, and you can see how fast they've already started to grow. The, the lettuce greens have already taken off. The tomato went backwards because it wasn't hardened off, and I did that purposely to trial it, and now it's growing beautifully. And we've already set fruit, folks, and that secret here, and I know it already, but I had to trial it myself a few times, and many of you have done the same. Uh, and have seen the results, it's the superfood black Greek combination. I guarantee you, you will see an abundance of flowers and fruit developing on your fruit and veggies. That's all I've been doing in my garden besides our compost and planting because that's how simple it is. I don't have to complicate it anymore. You don't have to either. Simplify, get your favorite compost supplier, get, the, get it from them. I'm not telling you just to go to our website or our stockists, but find something that's clean and organic and apply that in your garden and give it a top dress with a bit of superfood and black red. And I guarantee you, you'll sit back and you'll be blown away on the amount of flowers and fruit you start establishing. We may do a segment on the citrus trees and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Anyway, your tomatoes, time to get them in the ground. Layer them down if you like, bury them deep. Or the last one, and sorry for taking so long to explain this, is getting a big pot, like a 10 inch pot, cutting a slit down the side, or if it's already small enough, cutting the bottom off the pot and creating a tunnel, sliding it over the top, and then adding soil into it and just topping it up with more soil. That way you've got good drainage and you've got more roots developing. So a pot like a sleeve over the top and just keep topping it up and get it up to the heart's content, maybe three quarters of the pot, and you'll get another root system in there. So plenty of options, time to get your tomatoes in. If you're looking for big malakas, well, they're available online as a click and collect. They'll be released on the 24th of September onwards. So get yours now before they sell out from Lethbridge and Dandenong North. Otherwise, support your local garden centres and get them to grow bigger, better tomatoes for you so you can enjoy the crop. From Eva Silly, Maresi.